Hello everyone, this is What's Up. Um, this is going to be pulsing a yoke coil 3. It's going to be a, hopefully a short video just to give you a little rundown on my setup here that I'm going to be using to do some low level uh, pulsing of the uh, 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 yoke uh, coil that was uh, uh, Specked out by uh, T1000 Tiger and uh, the whole uh, uh, WNY group or gang. Uh, this is my uh, uh, yoke coil that is now finished. I'm just going to put this aside a second because uh, this video is going to be about just the 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 output that I'm going to be using to capture or well, what I'm going to be using to capture the output. Uh, what I have here are frequency generators, so I'm going to have this one here, uh, which is a 50 megahertz uh, frequency generator. I'm going to turn it on right now. It's ready to go, so I'm just going to push the button here. Okay, so this is the frequency generator here, and what I want to do is give you an idea about the total energy that I can accumulate just from the frequency generator connected, which is right there, right to these two points here, which are going directly to this capacitor here. The positive side is going through, well, one side is going through the diode, which is right there which is right here and uh, on here I have a bank of uh, LEDs which usually turn on at about 5 volts give or take uh, 0.1 or 2 volts uh, because of the brightness of this thing right now I'm just gonna move it aside there so it doesn't get right into the camera and on this capacitor I put uh, so you here you have your connections for the LED these two here okay here you have two connections that are going to my multimeter which is right here which is showing 9.85 uh, volts DC that is uh, kept on this capacitor while the load is on so this is the way that I gauge if there's anything special happening in uh, whatever I'm pulsing uh, the output always goes to this capacitor, to this LED, and I measure my voltage rise or drop with this multimeter here. So now I'm around 9.90 .90 volts. You can see the waveform on the output. And uh, right now I am at 4 megahertz. The uh, duty is at 50. The pulsing is at uh, 16 volts point to point and there is no um, uh, you know limiting because I'm at 8 and here I'm at minus 8 so it's basically 16 volts point to point being pulsed in here and what can we see with this load on this multimeter so right now okay 10 10.05 it's just moving around a little bit so for me if I get more than 10.5 volts on this multimeter with this load I know something is happening that's pretty special uh, okay so we'll stop it here uh, maybe uh, uh, one last thing is this here this is the coil that we made oh geez back in 2008 with Otto who is no longer with us and this thing uh, heated up so much that it made these permanent marks on my uh, Arborite uh, uh, desktop. Uh, this is the coil itself that we'll be working with. Okay, so here we have the green. Here is the 15 turn, which is right here in the middle. The yellow is going to be the 50 turn. Then we can turn it around. And then we have the bifiller 150 turn. Uh, so one side is going to be violet. And then one, one of the violets is going to the other side, which is white here, which is jumping to make the bifiller, and your other white here. And the strip, the copper strip itself, is one piece. I brought it around one side, brought it over, 
to the other side and both of the connections are going to be made here and here. So this gives you a little bit of a rundown on the setup that I'm going to be using and what I'm looking for is anything on my uh, multimeter uh, that's over 10.5. 10.5 would be a good target. Okay, thank you and we'll see you soon.